Syria is facing increasing pressure as pro-government and anti-government supporters are clashing on the streets. Syrian security forces strove to restore order in the northern city of Ledi'i yesterday after two days of chaos left 15 people dead and more than 150 injured. Government officials fear sectarian strife. The city has a mixed population of Christians, Sunni Muslims and Alawites, which is the sect President Bashar al-Assad belongs to. Alawites are followers of an offshoot of Shia Islam. The repercussions are also being felt in Lebanon, where thousands of Syrians are protesting for a second day outside the embassy in Beirut, both for and against Assad. We tell President Bashar al-Assad that we are with you forever, and we discovered that the enemies of the country are the media. Media is effectively playing a role in the wave of unrest sweeping across the Middle East. Last week, a Facebook group emerged in Syria calling for uprisings to take place in order to establish a change. Our brothers were killed in Syria by Assad. We support the people. It's true that we liked him, but he killed our brothers with guns. Why is that? We used to like him because he stood against Israel, but now he is shooting his own people. Syrian authorities are responding to the anti-regime protests. They already decided to lift the country's emergency law in place since 1963. The law imposes restrictions on public gatherings and it authorizes the arrest of people suspected to threaten the country's security. It also authorizes interrogation of any individual and the surveillance of personal communication. Assad has placed his fellow Alawites into most positions of power in Syria and has built a close relationship with Iran, allowing the Shia powerhouse to extend its influence into Lebanon where it provides money and weapons to Hezbollah militants.